As far as the Chandrayaan crew is concerned, ISRO is still hopeful of reviving contact. ISRO has said that they're not losing hope as of now. Uh, the Indian Space Research Organization will continue to make an all-out effort to restore the link with lander Vikram. Uh, we have uh, been told by ISRO that it was a hard landing, remember, very close, around 500 meters to the planned touchdown area in the site, as per the images sent by the onboard camera of the orbiter. Now, we also know the lander is uh, there as a single piece, has not been broken into pieces, which is good news in itself. Uh, it is, however, uh, in a tilted position. Uh, this is according to ISRO now. Uh, we also understand that all-out efforts will be made to see whether or not communication will be re-established with, with the lander. Imran Khan, my colleague, joins us now from Bangalore. Uh, Imran, uh, not all is lost clearly. Uh, ISRO is still uh, hopeful of reviving contact with the lander. Also, the fact that it's not broken into pieces and only uh, in a tilted position uh, also gives hope to ISRO. Well, absolutely. And so, uh, now uh, another more uh, information has come up after yesterday's uh, chairman said that they've already uh, found the location of the uh, lander Vikram. Uh, the, the, the question is that now they found uh, a, a, the lander uh, intact position, but it's a tilted uh, position. They, uh, even though uh, they are trying to make as much as contact with the uh, Vikram, uh, they some say that uh, hope is still not bleak uh, because uh, they're making all their efforts to ensure that the communication happens with the lander Vikram. Uh, some more details have come up. They're, uh, they're saying that it's in tilted position. It was a hard landing. So some of these uh, 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 parts could be damaged. They are trying to ensure that all the software systems and also the laser uh, and also the, the cameras are intact so that they can have a communication with the lander Vikram. All right. So uh, clearly uh, still hopeful and positive uh, of... Uh uh, of, of a better outcome uh, is ISRO. We understand that uh, for the next 13 days now, ISRO will continue on a daily basis, maybe an hourly basis as well, to try and re-establish contact uh, with the Vikram lander. The fact that we believe, the ISRO believes uh, it's not completely broken yet uh, is also uh, gives us really hope, uh, reason to hope that there might be uh, at some point in the near future the possibility of restoring contact with the lander uh, to uh, the base here in Bangalore. Bangalore, ISRO, of course, is not giving up right now, uh, as is very clear from the uh, statements coming out of ISRO. Uh, although, as we go along, uh, chances uh, will perhaps uh, become bleak, but uh, not all is uh, lost right now. Mr. Madhav Na Madhavan Nair joins us, former ISRO chief, on the phone line. Thank you, sir, for joining us. First of all, uh, there is uh, some hope still that contact might be restored with the lander. How do you rate the chances? Uh, so really, I think uh, since uh, they confirm that the entire lander is in one piece, uh, major damages uh, would not have taken place. Uh, now the question is uh, how to uh, orient the antenna and then get the signal either to the orbiter or uh, to the ground station. So this is going to be a, a tough job because, uh, you know, it is almost like uh, searching in the dark. And uh, we, but uh, the, fortunately, we know the location where this uh, lander is lying, and it is very close to the the predicted point. So that is a plus point as far as mission is concerned. And uh, again, you know, the the velocity has uh, reduced considerably, and uh, that is the reason that uh, the entire lander is as one piece. Right, Mr. Ma uh, Madhavan Nair, I don't so want to sound overtly optimistic here, but we do have a precedent here, don't we? The Rosetta project, the Europeans uh, had lost contact with their lander, but uh, after a protracted uh, time of silence, it did say hi to the base, and that has happened in the past as well. Uh, well, I think uh, we don't, didn't have any experience with the uh, uh, moon or the Mars crops, but at the same time, uh, many uh, some of the communication satellites, we had a very similar situation. But there, you know, a little bit more flexibility is there. Uh, since the spacecraft is free in the outer atmosphere, uh, one can maneuver it to see that uh, it comes to our visibility. But here, that kind of flexibility is there. So, unless uh, the, the uh, most probably the orbiter, if it uh, is in the right uh, direction with the lander, uh, we may not succeed. Uh, but at the same time, yes, we have a lot of hope uh, we may be able to get back some 
out of it. Uh, one of the statements coming out of ISRO, uh, Mr. Nair, of course, was that as we go along progressively, chances might become bleak. So, how important, how significant is it that if there's any chance of restoring contact with the victim lander, uh, it should happen in perhaps the next few days? Uh, well, I will uh, put the probability of success uh, maybe 60 to 70 percent. Well, that's not bad but, at all, uh, is it? That's not bad at all. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's why we are positive about it. And uh, it's worth making all attempts. Uh, their past knowledge base and experience will help them in uh, trying to resolve it as quickly as possible. All right, uh, still some hope. Mr. Madhavan and I have one, a couple more questions before we let you go on this as well. ISRO is extremely hopeful, although they're also being realistic at the same time of the chances of restoring contact. How significant is it that uh, it's in a tilted position? We now know that because of the thermal images being sent by the orbiter, uh, it's not really in a vertical position, which would have been ideal. Uh, it's in a vertical position. We don't know the extent of the damage uh, to the Vikram lander either. Uh, once we know that, perhaps we'll be in a better position to know uh, or say how how, uh, how realistic are the chances, but how significant is it that it's uh, on its side, it's not vertical, it's tilted? Well, I think the orientation is not the one what we desire. Uh, but at the same time, the fact that it is in one piece, that means the impact shock would not have been that high. If it was high, the whole piece would have shattered. Uh, so, with that, uh, there, there's a reason that uh, uh, the instrument all may be working. At uh, some point of time, we may be able to have uh, a contact. All right, uh, Madhavan Nair, former ISRO chief, saying there is uh, about a 60 to 70 percent chance uh, of uh, restoring contact. Uh, we are hopeful. ISRO is hopeful. ISRO is optimistic. At the same time, we've got to be realistic as well. Thank you, Mr. Madhavan Nair, uh, for joining us on the story. Vikram. Uh,